Guess what, gang? I'm guest hosting this week on the one and only American Top 40. Shadow Stevens is on a special overseas promotion trip for AT40, and he asked me if I wanted to sit in for him while he was away. So I went for it. I mean, this has got to be fun. I get to read a long-distance dedication, do the AT40 music news, and take us all on an AT40 flashback. So here I am. They've armed me with the latest billboard chart, a stack of CDs, and lists of facts provided by the very helpful AT40 Whiplash Acrobatic Ensemble. We'll get started the way they always do it, by checking out last week's top three. Number three was To Be With You by Mr. Big. Number two was Remember the Time by Michael Jackson. And number one for a second week in a row was Save the Best for Last by Vanessa Williams. Will she make it three weeks on top? Well, you know there's only one way to find out. What do you say we count them down? Number 40. Casey's Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Now we're up to a star who was too shy to sing in public. She'd only sing to herself in the mirror until one day she found someone else in that mirror with her. This is the story of Jody Watley, who recently told us that for as long as she could remember, she's always wanted to sing. Jody says, seriously, always. I wanted to be Diana Ross when I was little. I used to sing in front of the mirror, and in my mind, I was Diana. But Jody was a painfully shy little girl, and though she'd sing in the privacy of her own room, she would never sing in front of her family or her friends. Then one day when she was six years old, Jody left the door to her room open. She told us, quote, I didn't think there was anyone in the house. I was standing in front of the mirror singing the Motown classic, My Guy. I was really going for it. I put on some of my mom's clothes. I was doing all the steps. I thought I was pretty hot. I was acting like there were thousands of people watching me. I was really into it. And then I noticed someone else in the mirror. I turned around, and there was my mother standing in the door of my room. Jody told us she got really flushed and shy. But her mother told her she was having the best time watching her, that Jody was really great, that she had a talent and should work on it. And slowly, the shy little girl named Jody Watley turned into a Jody Watley who loved to perform in front of real people. And it all began with that first public performance in a mirror for an audience of one, her mother. Well, this week, Jody Watley confidently climbs three notches to number 13 in our countdown. Here she is with Friends. American Top 40. Hi, it's Jody Watley. Let's get back to this week's biggest hits with Shadow on American Top 40. Thanks, Jody. The song at number 15 is Jody Watley's current hit. It's a song about perception and control. And she told us about it. A lot of times, you're in a situation, you're in a relationship, and you go through the changes, the compromises, the battles back and forth, sometimes the infidelities. But everybody thinks that I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. And then there's a line in there that says, um, I'm not out to get your money because I buy my own clothes and I pay my own rent. I want you, but I'm independent. So the song is also about that. For this next singer, the riots in L.A. literally hit home. Jody Watley grew up in South Central Los Angeles, and in the aftermath of the riots, she returned to her old neighborhood. What she saw at first was shocking. Black-owned stores that she used to shop in burned to the ground, smoldering in a pile of rubble, the streets devastated. Everything we've seen on TV, Jody saw firsthand. Jody says she just had to get involved. So she visited a local radio station to talk to her old neighbors. She made a sizable contribution to a relief organization helping to get food to senior citizens who don't have places to buy groceries anymore. Plus, she talked with people in the streets and basically helped wherever she could. Jody says a lot of people were surprised to see a star like her down in the trenches. But she says people sing songs about togetherness and reaching out. And I was wondering when I was down there, where are these people? It's more than writing a cute lyric about it and putting dance steps to it. This wasn't just one trip for Jody either. She says she wants to stay involved. She says, if I had the money of a Michael Jackson or someone of that stature, right now I'd be planning the kind of mall I could build. I'd be looking for a way to do something constructive for that neighborhood.
You know, we're always reading lists here on AT40. Songs about girls, songs about love, who's had the most top tens, number ones, and so on and on and on and on. Well, the singer at number 33 made herself a little list, and that's how she came up with her latest album. You might find this pretty insightful stuff from Jody Watley. With this particular album, Affairs of the Heart, I was more focused in terms of the things that I wanted to write about. Each album that I make, I, I keep a journal of all my thoughts from the beginning through the lyrics to everything that has to do with that particular project. And uh, at the beginning of this one, I wrote a, a list of things um, commitment, intimacy, communication, how we take each other for granted, uh, single parenthood, pride. So everything made its way on the album, whether um, in a whole concept or as a line of the song or a title or something like that. You've got your radio tuned to the number one hit spot. Hi, I'm Jody Watley, and this is American Top 40 with Shadow. Well, that's one of my current favorite songs. It's the second Top 40 hit from her comfort zone. And it's a big one. Save the Best for Last by Vanessa Williams spends a third week at number one. Well, I don't believe it, but I've made it all the way through the 40 most popular records in America, straight from the official Billboard chart for the week ending April 4th, 1992. American Top 40 is produced in Hollywood by ABC Watermark. Executive producer Kareem Baldessano Executive in Charge of Operations, Rod West. AT40 is produced by Bruce Goldberg. And of course, I couldn't have done it without the most amazing backup team in the radio universe. The entire Whiplash Acrobatic Ensemble. Daryl Morton, Matt Wilson, Dana Schwartz-Walter, Ann Beebe, Dr. Robert Durkee, Allison Pipitone, Dave Burgess, Sandy young Morell, Michael Sullivan, Ken Halford, Brandon D'Amore, Donald O'Connor, and the birthday girl, Kathy Parker. American Top 40 was brought to you in part by AT&T and by A&W Cream Soda. AT40 was created by Casey Kasem and Don Bustani in conjunction with Tom Rounds and ABC Watermark. I'm Jody Watley, and I had a great time sitting in for Shadow. Thanks for asking me. Shadow Stevens will be back again next week to, like he says, blaze through the biggest hits in the USA. As for me, hasta la vista, baby. American Top 